It's come back as stolen. And unfortunately, on doing the Chris check, this is what came up. This week, I've uh, been covering for Mick while he's on holiday. So, uh, obviously, we had a look at the coachman on Monday. We had a look at the Bessicon. Now, if you missed those videos, have a look. It's popping up in the top corner now, and you'll be able to see the video of those two absolutely stunning vans. A few vans just lined up waiting to go out ready. Um, getting a pitch washed off, so we've got a few puddles here, there and everywhere. Now, there's a van right up the top. Now, this was part exchange that was due in last week, and obviously it came in, it turned up. But unfortunately, when we did the Chris check on there, which is the safety check, basically, which is like your V5 for your vehicle. So every caravan from 1992 will be Chris registered and should have the markings on the window for you to be able to check. Now that is basically the registration um, for the caravan. So it registers the caravan. You can then register the caravan in your name. When we buy a caravan or we take a caravan in part exchange, we will do a Chris check. And unfortunately, on doing the Chris check, this is what came up. Now, unfortunately, for the people that own that caravan, it came back as the caravan is actually stolen. Now, what that means is that we've had to inform the police, um, see whether it's still an outstanding issue or whether it's a historic problem. But unfortunately, it is still an outstanding issue. So, just brings the uh, the thing of... If you're going to buy a caravan, you've got to make sure that you do a Chris check on it. If you're buying it from a dealer, the dealer will do a Chris check. And then you just need to make sure that you get the caravan registered in your detail. Now, we don't see it all that often, but it does crop up from time to time. So it just shows the importance of actually paying the money, doing that check, and then making sure that the actual caravan is registered into your details upon purchasing, even if it's from a dealer, make sure that you register that caravan. Now, we're still a little bit in limbo of exactly what is going to happen, whether the, the insurance company are going to say that there's still a registered interest in the caravan. Uh, when we spoke to the uh, Chris about it and got in touch with the local police force that were dealing with the issue. Uh, it's a historic case. It's actually from about 16 years ago, but there may still be an interest from the insurance company. Obviously, they've paid out, so in effect, it's still the insurance company's property. So what happens now? Well, unfortunately, when we spoke to the police, they've said that we have to keep the caravan here. We can't let the caravan go because it is still potentially the property of the insurance company it may mean that the customer that bought it in good faith from um, somebody a number of years ago is just going to lose the caravan and lose all of their money it just shows the, the the reason why if you're buying a caravan privately you've got to do the checks you've got to make sure as i say us as a dealer we will do that check but then it's making sure that you've registered it into your details the customer's now stuck uh, because they can't have the caravan back until the insurance or the police say that it's clear and it's, it's a historic issue. But it may possibly be that they come back and say, no, the insurance company owns the caravan and you've lost it. Your, your money, your caravan, everything has gone. Now, we have had a couple of instances previously where uh, it's come back on the Chris Register. We've contacted the police and it's actually just been an old issue that hasn't been resolved. We used to get it quite a lot from finance companies. If the finance company hadn't been paid for the caravan, they would then register the caravan as stolen with the police and then sometimes get the caravan back and the marker wouldn't be removed off there. So it's not always that the caravan has definitely been stolen. But unfortunately, in this instance, Instance, that isn't the case it, it was about 16 years ago the caravan was stolen and uh, the insurance have paid out on it and obviously we've now got it here so hopefully we can resolve the issue sort something out with the insurance the customer can then keep it and then we can potentially get this cleared off and then look at potentially taking it back in part exchange so not a nice situation to be in um, so just Again, if, if you're looking to buy a caravan, if you're thinking about buying one privately, um, make sure you do that Chris check. It's not that difficult. It's literally just going to the Chris website. And then from the actual website, you can do a Chris check. Even as a private buyer, 
um, you can go on there and actually pay and do a Chris check. So if you're looking to buy a caravan privately, make sure that this is done. Even if you're buying it from a dealer like ourselves, make sure that caravan gets registered in your details and that you've checked all of the serial numbers. We did a video previously on how not to buy a caravan that will pop up in the top right hand corner there. And it's just another way on a slightly newer caravan how you can actually get the information from Chris and then check other information. So your cooker, your fridge, VIN numbers and serial numbers on particular items in your caravan. So hopefully we can get this resolved. We'll do a little update in um, the next week or so and see what happens. But hopefully this video might just stop it happening to anybody else. Just a bit of a, a, a funny one this week. So hopefully this is gonna help somebody and not have this situation happen to you in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Mark at the Caravan Place.